Hi, I'm Mick Sadler, and today we're going to make a flower clamp or blamp, um, which is a, a clamp to hold your flowers or whatever in when you're doing macro photography. It looks a bit like this. So you have a clamp one end, you clamp this to the tripod or a table or something else, and you've got a flexible arm. And then on top of that, you've got a smaller clamp which you clip to a flower or whatever it is you want to hold. Um, we also have a heavier duty version of this, which is this, um, which is a clamp this end and a little clamp that end, um, except this is a little bit more stable. So all you need is to get some twist ties, which I got from a pound shop, and also some smaller clamps. Uh, and I've got 10 of these from a pound shop. And um, I used uh, a screw thread, an M3. You want a nut and a bolt and a washer. And uh, clamped it to the clamp. So what you do is, is uh, twist two of these together. So in a packet of twist ties in the pound store, you get two of ties. So you can make, uh, if you cut it in half, you can make two smaller ones or you can uh, twist together like we've done here and make uh, just one. Now with, it, with, the, uh, the, with the ties twisted together like this, it means this is a bit more stable so that when you clamp this on, there's not a lot of rocking. Because if you've got a single one, and depends on the weight of whatever you're clamping, one can be a little bit bouncy. What you need to do is form a loop on this end, and with a, a single one, you just form a loop and you bolt it in. And you get a bolt and you bolt it in. Um, and these larger clamps you can buy this type or I've got here a gorilla clamp clamp. You make an eye bit and you bolt through that. That's to stop any lateral movement. Some of these I've seen uh, they use something to stick this down or tie this down, but that makes the lateral movement it can slip. And at this end, we also made a loop. And uh, I've, I've taken some of the covering off and then just take this. This just tapes to this. And uh, the loop goes inside the clamp and again, stopping any lateral movement. Now, with the two uh, ties together, it folds over and it is a loop one end. And then you just twist it round so that it becomes entwined. This on this end forms a natural loop where you're going to put it to the clamp. You've got a natural loop and you put through your bolt and your washer and make sure that uh, the loop fits in the clamp and you tighten it up and then there's no lateral movement at all. Same with this end. This end you, you would end up with uh, two ends. You cut off the ends and you cut some of the uh, plastic sleeving off some of this like neoprene really, you cut that off, expose the uh, the metal parts, use a pair of pliers to uh, make them into uh, a round, uh, fold them around so they're flat, and again, uh, put them into the clamp and tape them in, and there's no lateral movement on that. So there you are. For under a fiver, you've got at least two uh, clamps. This is what you need to make your plant clamp like this. You need the twist ties, which you've got in the pound shop, so you've got two in there, and a clamp to clamp onto something, either a tripod or a table. Um, you can get these in DIY store, or this is a gorilla clamp, and it already has some holes in which you may need to uh, enlarge. I prefer to use the uh, gorilla clamp. You need uh, a bolt and a washer, and this is an M6. You can use an M5 if you want. A little clip for the top, 
and some tape. Um, you will need a pair of pliers um, to cut the ends and also to twist uh, twist the ends. So let's go into uh, make one of these. Now we've uh, cut the ends off. I'm going to trim some of the black surround down. So we're going to trim about uh, 50 mil off to expose uh, the metal just like that and now what we're going to do we're going to twist these together so start at the top and twist and just let your hands go down and you just twist away so we pretty much uh, twisted this up and uh, twisted these two together so we now want to take these two ends and we want to twist them together which we'll do with the pliers so they sort of become one so we twisted that together and this uh, means that this this bit poking out of the top we can use this to just with the pliers just turn it round to make it uh, into a little circle at the top so that they, it will stop any lateral movement right so that's our basic uh, unit so we're now going to take the gorilla clamp and the bolt and the screw and start assembling right we've opened up a hole in this gorilla clamp to take the bolt now we take the folded up twist tie um, and we're going to bolt it in there so first of all we want the washer and then the bolt goes through here and through the clamp and the bolt goes on the end and tightens up and we just need to make sure this is catching the metal parts and holds the metal parts down to stop any lateral movement. Just need to take the end and put it in the clamp and then tape it round so that it doesn't move. So we've taped that in place now and so there's no lateral movement. And we're just going to put a bit of tape around the black parts just to Lean it up like that, and uh, we're all ready to go. And there we are, that's our plant clamp done. All we've got to do is to trim this uh, bolt off there neat, and there we have, we have our plant clamp, and we can attach that to anything and move it about. Well, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you've got any queries, uh, put them down below. And we would like to hear of your experiences and what you make. And uh, just let us know. And we'll see you again next time.